Hi, I'm John Rowland with Holland Park Lapidary, and uh, what I'm going to talk to you about today is installing your blade and some of the things to watch for because we will get a lot of questions about pe people will say, my blade's not running true, it's wobbling some. Uh, and so what I'm going to do is on this little six inch trim saw, I'm going to show you uh, some of the things that will affect that. So basically what I did is I, I just did what a lot of people will do is I stuck the blade on, put the spacer in, put the flanges on, tighten it up. But if you look as I turn it, the blade is wobbling a lot. Now some people would think, oh, there's something wrong with my arbor, oh, my blade is bent. But the reality is that if you are um, putting a blade on, the most important thing is your cleanliness. Now, if you've got any kind of garbage underneath the flange or if the, the chamfer on the flange isn't enough, um, that what will happen is that will cause that little piece of garbage or that sharp edge on the flange to hit the shoulder down here. And so what I like to do is I like to wipe it off really good, feel it. When I set the flange on here, if I push back and forth I shouldn't feel it rocking on something it's sitting solid so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try putting everything back together and making sure the face of my blade is clean and clean also means there's no burrs uh, a little burr can cause you troubles describe to people what a burr is a burr know. is a little raised bump on the metal um, but a little tiny rock chip can can cause just as much problems now my problem is still there so i'm gonna follow it so looking at this flange what i notice is that when they put the chamfer on it there's a little bit of a burr right there so this is a burr knife they're really inexpensive and if you don't have one you do a little bit of maintenance on equipment they can be really handy uh, but you can also do this with a file um, actually Sherman grab me a file and I'll show the technique for a file as well that's I like having a dull file for this I'm just gonna take this and you can see it's getting a little shiny right around that inner part. You're just wanting to knock down anything that might be standing up there. Now, I'm gonna re-wipe that off and see whether I have mitigated my problem. But the same is true, whether you got a small saw or a big saw, the little bit of garbage or a little bit of uh, something going on with the flange, and uh, it will have the same effect. A lot of times if people take a saw apart, they'll take the outer flange and stick it on the inside. And, and look at that, our problem has gone away. I haven't even tightened it up. So it was that little burr on the flange that was causing us all that problem. And now our blade's running nice and true.